Welcome back everyone to my playthrough of the Atlantic War. This is the first mission of Sniper Elite 5 and I'm playing it for the second time. I have played this through once before and gone on for a few missions, but I wanted to come back and try and complete the challenge, which apparently I missed, um, in order that I can get the German P-40 machine gun, uh, the standard German submachine gun as part of my regular uh, loadout. Sie haben bestimmt irgendwo was versteckt. Die haben uns ja nicht mit Mistgabeln angegriffen. This will help. So, there's a chap up there somewhere. I didn't see him yet. I can use my focus. There we are. How am I going to get to him without him seeing me? Oh, I think it's easy because he's behind a wall. Verdammte Partisan! Gebt auf! Ihr habt den Krieg doch schon verloren! I don't know why he's talking to himself. Na los, hier muss doch irgendwo was sein. Wo haben sie es versteckt? Check my weapons before hitting the field. Stuck up on supplies as well. Okay, so he's, they're warning me that I'm in a good location for picking up spare stuff. And I could use the workbench. Ah. It's annoying I can only... I, there is a way of carrying a few more grenades, I think. Okay, yeah, I've got three now. I think I usually be able to carry two. Um, this is a better sniper rifle than the one I'm carrying but I've only got I don't know if I've got three shots or four shots but I don't have many so I'm going to want to make them count uh, can I knock it out through that door? maybe not standing still apparently that door's stuck so I don't go that way um, Well, worth remembering there's a couple of spare grenades here, because they're always good. Not good for sneaking around, but definitely good for booby traps. I don't really need to be crouching here, but I am doing so anyway. Out of habit. Oh, I can't get out that way either. Um, I presume there is a way out of this section of the game. Uh, perhaps I have to get in. Perhaps they want me to uh, look at the workbench before I can continue. Because we're still in the uh, training section. So here's the workbench. I could switch to these other weapons if I wanted to. But I'm going to stick with the um, the SREM. It, it is of the three... That I've currently got the quickest to reload. The carbine would be brilliant. It wouldn't be a very good sniper rifle, but it'd be great. Um, Can retool my gear at any other workbenches I find. Should keep an eye out. Keep my loadout on point for the job. Okay, yeah, they wouldn't let me through the door until I went to the workbench. So there we go. I've done that. Now, no one around. You can turn off the uh, radar at the bottom left if you're. Hardcore. Achtung! Alle Geschütze auf Zielraster H9. Reichweite 
the radar. Looks like the air raid didn't take it out. I'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Okay, so there's nothing I can do to save those guys. Apparently I could disable that, but I'm not quite clear why I'd want to. So there's this giant radar, and I'm going to have to take it out. Oh, there's another guy over there. Counting tins of beans. I don't particularly want to have to deal with the uh, Cooper Barker, so I'll ignore that. <coughs> I want to make sure I'm taking my powerful rifle with me. So again, that's a point of no return. I can't go back up that slope now. Use the long grass to my advantage. far away for this guy to hear me. Yeah. Maybe I'm supposed to uh, snipe them out. There's two of them quite close together so I would have trouble um, using melee. That could be part of coming back as well. Well, let's try some sniping then. And this is the problem with sniping from grass, is the grass gets in the way sometimes of your shots. Okay, so that's guy one, that's guy two. So I think this is this was my first experience. I, this is now my second playthrough of this part of the mission. You'll see there's a spinning marker where I was. So anybody who had been in the area would hear that and come running. So you can't snipe from one location for too long because you keep your position away, which is very realistic and sensible. Because I sniped these guys, I will have to search them. Nothing else to find. He has got grenades. But I can't get him. So what I'm gonna do. Oh! Ah, ah, oh! Poops. Better move. Who saw me? Someone over there. Two of them even. It's me like messing this one up. There's another one over that direction. Oh, were they? Did they come back? What about them? I think they did. Okay, it's just that one guy there. Perhaps I can get him through the gap. Well, I did mess that up, didn't I, guys? In fact, nobody 
Okay, so I did get hit, but apparently I recovered. Um, there I was messing around with dead bodies, and it turns out there were people around. What I had wanted to do was plant a little booby trap. That's all I was going to do. Nothing. Nothing naughty. That's all right. Stop doing this rubbish. <laughs> Letting everybody know where I am. I'm becoming. I'm doing exactly the thing that I was trying not to do, which is let everyone know where I am and then get shot up a lot. Well, let's use my submachine gun for a change. Perhaps. Or. Goodness me, goodness me, I am rubbish at this. I'm not picking up any, um, any spare on ammo, but... Interesting. Um, that's the one I want, that's the better weapon. Let's just pop a booby trap on this guy. What I meant to do is booby trap that and then have the Kubelbarg and drive past and... Uh, <laughs> and uh, blow up, but, well, this works, I guess. Sniper rifle. Okay. I know how to use this. Well, I totally messed up, but I'm still alive, and I actually didn't take any uh, lasting damage, so that's fortunate. Now, I need to, well, this is not the place to be stopping to make that decision, is it? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> My f since I can't do the... Well, the guns I still need to blow up. There are three guns down by the shore. But my first job is going to be... Taking out the radar station, I think. Okay, let's Yeah. Quickly whip out my binoculars. I don't think I'm going to be able to see anybody. Okay. I always forget how to put my binoculars away again. Oops. And there is somebody over there. There is somebody over there now. Last time I did this, I oh, this was the beginning of the uh, of my complete mess up for this because I, I let the guy see me. And that was that. Now there's a guy wandering around over here. I can see his torches. They always wear torches or American needs of flashlights and kind of give themselves away. That's one of them. Just nip across here. Let's use this spy hole to see. Can't see very much. Try a bit of focus. Okay, so there's one there. There's one there. There's another guy over. Oh no, that's the spy hole. I made the mistake the first time through on this of just rushing. I really didn't need to rush. second guy heard that shot but there's nothing he can do about it right now other than go and investigate so he's 
gonna go running around. To where he heard the shot. Disgusting. Okay, now he's looking for me actively. And I should have paid attention that my uh, scope's gonna overdo it. There we are. So it tells you every time you get a, a sniper kill like that, or indeed any kind of kill, um, you get a score between about 150 and 200. Um, it's not worth just waiting around trying to get the best scores, just do what you need to do. That's all. That replaces the grenade I dropped uh, as a booby trap earlier. Let's take the 1903. And something else is around. Player sighted? Wow. I, I am getting very bad at this, aren't I? So he's going to come zooming over looking for me. To investigate where I was. There is, by the way, during this nice quiet moment, a player versus player uh, option. When another player can come in and solve the battle, so I've turned that off. Because right now, I don't want to have more trouble than I'm already creating for myself doing this. I'm, I'm going to switch to bandages just in case. Okay, so that guy's over here. They do love looking at dead bodies, don't they? I don't really see the fascination. I thought, if you see a dead body on the ground, Something killed it. You don't want to be there because that's where the danger is. Okay, there's another enemy coming to look. Why they do like climbing up, don't they? So he's coming over to have a look now. Where is he? There he is. And again, what I should do is get my sights on first. Walked into that one, mate. Dear, oh dear, I'm telling them all where I am. So he's going to go to where the gunshot was. Two of them, two of them, okay. They're behind me, so I'm not sure where they came from. The problem is I'm using my sniper rifle, which is quite noisy. So all I'm doing is letting everybody know where I am. There's two of them running over. And then he's going to come looking for me at that spot. So I want to move again. At least I'm not so far forward that I'm letting anybody else know where I am. Now 
last time I was here, I stirred up a whole hornet's nest around that cow. And he's going to see me if I do that. Yeah, he's going to come running over. German soldier running around in the French countryside, so I'm going to have to deal with him. And of course, I put down my special sniper rifle. I don't know where I put it. I think by now they would expect me to have used it all anyway. I don't know what he's investigating over there. There's nothing there. Oh, is he going to? Is he going to find the dead body? Go on, go find the dead body. Okay, he's not going to find the dead body. There is a thing called uh, energy bomb. I wasn't using it. Okay. Shouldn't be any more appearing from behind me. I'm not sure what that little triangle is supposed to indicate. A little white triangle back there. Let's see if I can find my rifle again. Yes. The sniper good. rifle looks good. Yes, it does. Okay. Let's have a quick look at the overall map. Oh, there's another soldier over there. I think he's popping up from behind. That looks like a, a truck something going on the road. They found something which has made them suspicious. But they're just going to keep on driving past because they've got really no reason not to. Oh wow, so those two guys came off a motorbike. Alright. Let's put down... ...a telemine. Hopefully... ...the next little truck or, or patrol that comes along will... Uh, ...get hit by that. Okay, last time I was I did this, and the first time I did this, I completely messed up. Okay, I'm heading... Where am I? I'm here. Okay, this is me, and I'm heading up to this thing to try and take out this radar station, which is absolutely guaranteed to be crawling the Germans. Now, there's a vantage point there that I can use to look out over the beach and over here. That guy is a special mission I need to get. I got him last time, no problems. And from this vantage point I will spot that bunker, that bunker, and there's another one somewhere in this row of houses. Um, oh, I, I put a marker down, didn't mean to do that. Take the marker off. Um, okay. I see the circle of an enemy, so I know that hardcore players will turn off the radar and just play this without, but I'm not confident enough yet to do that. So there's somebody off to the left, there's two, at least two or three of them, and that little flash I just saw up there 
That's the guy. And you do like their animations. I put they probably put a lot of effort into this. Right, that's let everybody know where I was, so I'm gonna move. Whoa! Who was shooting at me? People that weren't even on the map. Okay. Here. Now, I wonder if that thing will hit the mine. It's just beyond the turn. They're all suspicious because there's a whole bunch of uh, vehicles parked on the road for no obvious reason. Oh, no, they're going to go the other way. Now I should be some totally safe where I am, so there's no need for me to uh, rush back into the fray and just get myself surrounded. <coughs> this is my uh, M1911, and I can go into first-person view if I want to. I think it's usually easier in third-person again. This, I mostly play games in third person, but not a big first person view, and it just makes me get more motion sick a lot of the time. Or I can also switch over the shoulders. But I can't see much because I'm in grass. I, uh, that's, this is why I've got such a low detail. I've got, I'm on the armor piercing. I don't particularly need to be on armor piercing rounds, so I'm just going to switch back to normal rounds. And the SREM is also on normal rounds. So, I now have access to armor piercing and also subsonic. Uh, well, I've only got so I, I, you know, I don't think I even used subsonic before. Um, I wonder. Uh, so, if they're really, really far away, I can adjust my sights. One of the things in these games is, generally speaking, we're shooting at a lot shorter ranges than the weapons can actually be effective at. That is a spotlight up there. So that few empty luck, the, when the square goes red, she's got a still shot. That obviously made a noise, so we'll head back to a bit of block grass to be visible. Be harder to spot me in that grass. Yeah, quite right too. I don't know if they heard... That was a subsonic shot, and they still heard it. It said gunshot heard. I think, okay, they didn't hear where I was shooting from. They heard where the gunshot landed. And that's different. Don't mind that so much. Can I? There's nobody the other side of this wall. Can I jump over? No. 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 Apparently, I put a marker on the map that I don't want to use right now. Um. Okay. I reset it and moved it. So I haven't been using my subsonic ammo as much as I should. Obviously this game is all about stealth, or supposed to be. However, this thing isn't going to be stealthy, is it? I could use this sniper rifle. Yeah, because it's a powerful M1903. Oh, something else I haven't mentioned is, you will see in the bottom right, apart from my weapon and my uh, side thing, my, what do you call them, uh, extras, let's call them extras, um, you will also see my heart rate, and that's what that little 60 indicator is, my resting heart rate is 60, nice and healthy, whoops. And that's 
a loud one too. And they immediately start shooting at me. I think I'm going to have to stop using that weapon because it's far too loud. It keeps giving my game away to people I didn't even know there. Satchel charges. I'm going to want those. I think I've only got... I'm not sure if I've got one shot left in this or two shots, one in and then... I think I've got one in and then one spare. But it's awfully loud looking, so it's attracting everybody, so I think I might have to stop using it. Oh well. Another day. I think I should have used that down on the beach where I had a, a powerful lookout point. In fact, that's what I might do. Go back to the map and take a look down here. I'm going to head over to this vantage point. Uh, it's not too far away. That guy spotted me. There's somebody who's looking out for me. But yeah, I'm going to head back to the vantage point, which is up to. I think they came off a motorcycle patrol, so I'll just let them go past. Or not. Okay, they are kind of losing interest. Oh, they've spotted something. buddy, isn't he? This is not a hiding bush. It's only hides in long grass. Oh, wow. These uh, motorcycles are stacking up, aren't they? A little bit of damage there because I wasn't paying attention. But it heals back, okay. So it seems if you don't take a full bar, it will heal back. Now there's nothing I can do. If I pick this guy up. I don't know how many of those motorcycle patrols are going to keep turning up, but let's put this guy where he's very obvious, and then stick a grenade under him and see what happens. I'll have the powerful rifle back, and let's head up over here.
You'll see my heart rate is going up. It's up to 120. I'm not sprinting. Which will send it up even higher. Ooh. I wonder what they're going to do. Are they going to see the body and stop? And investigate? Did they just drive straight past it? No, they've seen all the bodies. This is weird. They see all the bodies, they get interested, but they don't do anything. So they just drove straight past that body. Oh well. I'm guessing dead German soldiers lying around in the French countryside are not startling enough. And now I am sprinting and you'll see my heart rate going up to 180. Apparently this guy can't have his heart rate going faster than 180. You'd think someone who's been fighting. Wow, look at that weapon, it looks ridiculous. I think something happened to my scope on my uh, M1911, because that's not right. Why do I have that thing sticking out of my side pocket? I don't know what what's causing that. I hadn't noticed that before. Oh well, it doesn't affect me moving. Okay, so, this is a good lookout, but of course there will be enemies here. There's one. Empty crate. And I don't imagine, you know, there's, I see one in there, there's one inside the door. here. Another rifle here. <laughs> okay. Forgotten about that one. Let's pick this one up. So what I should have done was bring this one over here and use their bunker as a fantastic lookout point. Let's uh, drop that on the floor for a second and bring out our uh, binoculars. If I can remember how to do that. Okay. That's not a soldier, that's just a statue. That's a soldier. So, I think I wasn't effectively tagging my uh, targets previously. Anyone on the beach? You wouldn't want to be, it's probably covered in mines. Oh, somebody found a body. That bunker could cut down anyone on the beach. Uh, Our boys will have an easier time if I take it out. So that infantry could kill you. Just Another saw. bunker defending the beach. I need to take it out if our boys are going to make it to shore. That was certainly one of my booby traps that went off. I, I didn't get the message that there was a... Uh, sometimes you get the explosion, you don't get it every time. Sometimes you get to actually see the kill from a distance. Um, okay, where did that bunker go? Over there. Oh, he's wandered off now. Ooh, that is a good scope, isn't it? 
16 times. Let's wait, wait for him to wander back to the window. I have visited bunkers like this in the north of France many years ago and I, uh, you can go to them still there. Many of them are still there. Many of them are still intact or restored. Um, there's a good one at Wiestrom which was one of the first places the Allies landed on D-Day. Another body found. I wish I could see... I could have scoped this guy rather than attacking him with my binoculars. I thought it was being clever to use binoculars, but now I'm just waiting for him to come back into sight. Well, wherever that body was, it's not the one just outside this bunker. Also, if you ever get the chance to go to the Channel Islands, um, Jersey and Guernsey, and those sorts of places, is he going to walk around outside? Is he going to give me a shot? Yes, he is. throw it away because it was empty. Okay, so that was it. That one was empty. But no useful items. Yeah, here we are. got two more targets out here, I might as well take them, because any targets taken out from here, I don't have to deal with them somewhere else. So this kind of bomb is shot. really not going to get that one without using empty lung. That guy's behind the building at the moment. I think he's going to come out in a moment. Oh. Yep, he's gone. Now, normally as a sniper I'd be being spotted by now, but because I'm so far away... There's nobody nearby to hear me. Or is there? I'm using my subsonic ammo since I have it. Uh, the other guy's a bit away. There's two of them. And apparently they didn't hear me shooting. I always forget when I come out of the 
focus, which I don't use that much. I also need to long press the button. There's a guy on the beach. Not the best shot. Got him in the lung, but it worked. I think I'm going to leave that point there. Stick a booby trap on this guy just in case anybody comes into this bunker. So this is a crate, but this one's empty. Um, sometimes you get crates with stuff in them that you can use. So my movement was setting him off, but he's actually going a different way, he's seen something else. Subsonic. Now here's one of the things I find annoying in games like this. I can't climb over these rocks, or at least I couldn't climb over those ones, for no apparent reason. And I just saw a guy heading off that way. Quite quick enough. Let's look for him. However, I don't want to go out in the moonlight and be too visible. Marked two bunkers that I need to take out. I will probably pause this at an hour because it does get to be quite a long viewing session. Okay, back in the grass. Where are those guys?
Ist da jemand? shot. Nobody else around to hear it. So you'll see my circle of spotting this. Big when I'm outside the grass and small when I'm inside the grass. That light out to sea bothered me for a while. It's um, a little patrol boat and I can't seem to do anything about it. I was wondering if I was able to shoot it or something, but no, that doesn't seem to be an option. So that's my first bunker. I don't think That'd be a good point for a sniper, wouldn't it? Gonna have to go out in the moonlight. But I don't think there's anyone around, so I'm just gonna make it quick. This was only manned by one person. Let's take that satchel charge, we can use that. It sounds like a big gun. Must be what hit the submarine. I need to find it and take it out. Um, I think that charge there will take out the whole gun, but let's just quickly check out the spot. So there's a mount, there's an MG42, but I have no real reason to want to use it. It'll just be very noisy, but if I was out there, that would be bad. Right. And I did one of these quick, and then I thought that's really stupid because I want slow so I can get away from it before it goes off, so I'm not attracting attention to myself. Slow is still reasonably quick. I wasn't sure if slow meant it doesn't go off until the end of the mission or something, but it still go off. Let's watch this one explode. That's the first bunker destroyed, but it won't be the last. I should find the others. I will tell you guys, that tiny little satchel charge, I don't think it would wreck that uh, bunker to quite such an extent as displayed. I'm gonna call this one a day. Now, oh, that, sound, that thing at the top was saying it's noisy, and if I shoot while there's noise, people aren't gonna hear me shoot, so that's they're useful. If you can time your shots, you can kind of use a sound to disguise yourself. Right, I'm going to pause here, call that recording one, and continue on to go and take out the second bunker and some more of the defences.